Okay, I want to make a quick video to show you how to um, mute and unmute and kick out students or people that are in your meeting that are being annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and start a meeting here. Uh, let me fade that out a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to start the meeting. And uh, here's, I told my friend, uh, uh, my coworker, Jeff, that uh, I'm going to invite him to this meeting and he's going to be our sort of like our guinea pig. Okay, so I just sent him an email. I'm done inviting people for now. And um, we'll give a mom moment to show up here. So again, this is uh, Cisco WebEx meetings. Okay, Jeff, can you hear me? Cool. Okay, there's Jeff over there. Now, um, uh, I'm going to use you as a guinea pig and just demonstrate how to turn off and on your uh, camera and your microphone. So uh, let's say Jeff is uh, picking his nose now. You don't actually have to do that. Okay, perfect. And uh, so what I did first was I clicked this little icon down here, and this is the participants. You can toggle that on and off, uh, but I'm toggling it on. You can see Jeff's name over here. So if he's being inappropriate, if you right click, so that's like opposite click over his name, you get all these extra options, and one of them is to stop the video. So there, we've stopped his video. Now, I'm pretty sure, Jeff, can you turn your video back on? I can. Okay, so you're not locking them from turning their video back on, I believe. Let's see here. Yep, he's back. So, but that's just to, you could maybe send a message to him and say, you know, hey, I muted your video. Hey. So again, actually, let me show you this really quick. This little button here will open up a little message window, I believe. Yeah, to Jeff test. So I'm going to test that. So that's from me to Jeff only. That's not in the chat window here for anyone else to see. Um, okay. You saw it? Okay. So now let's say Jeff is, uh, I don't know, eating some chips or something like that. He's being really loud. You can uh, mute him this way. So it's turning off his microphone. So, and yep, now we can't hear you at all, which is fine. So you'll see when I'm talking here, there's little, um, I don't know, waves, sound waves over here. So you can kind of sometimes tell who's who's making the noise by looking at your participants list and just looking for where those little waves are. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unmute his microphone as well. So if some, so sometimes you can unmute them as well. So if someone is trying to talk but you can't hear them, as the host, you can unmute or mute them. The other thing you can do is if Jeff's being a real pain or maybe, uh, maybe you're teaching back-to-back -back classes and he's dropped in the class before he's supposed to, you can kick him out of the class by selecting this move to lobby. And uh, bye, bye Jeff. So that just kicks him out, he's in the lobby. Now you can, you'll see there's a little window here where you can admit him back into the, the class again. He's waiting out there and I'm gonna bring him back in. So uh, now I've brought Jeff back in from the lobby. Um, the other thing, let's look down the list here. So you can change the role from the top here. You can make him a host or a presenter. You can allow him to annotate over your screen, which is cool. Um, you can assign different privileges also. Um, or if you've got a very large meeting and you can't tell who's making noise, you can just mute everybody. And uh, that mutes everybody, but I guess, but the presenter. So I'm still talking and he can still hear me. Um, stop the video, the chat. We and move to lobby. And then the final one is this last one. This person is being really rude and it's time for them to leave class forever. Uh, you click this expel button and it kicks them out of the meeting for good. Bye, Jeff. Thanks. So there, I've expelled Jeff and now he cannot rejoin. So hopefully this helps you uh, maintain control if some uh, students are loud or if you're in a meeting and people are crunching, uh, making a lot of noise. Now, if you are attending a meeting and the host is making a lot of noise, you can't, as a participant, mute their microphone. All you'd have to do is just tell them, hey, we can hear you. And one thing that we've noticed is if you if you are using a laptop, which a lot of people are, and you're actively typing on your laptop, the microphone is really close to the keyboard. So you will it will probably pick up a lot of clicky clacky sounds as you type. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, I will uh, see you guys in the next video.